Canadian broadcaster Chorus Entertainment officially opened its new office building on Toronto's lakefront. Computer Royal Canada took a tour of the 500,000 square foot open concept facility, where IT and broadcast infrastructure are centralized, a bio wall purifies air, and a spiral slide gives staff speedy access to the ground floor. Chief Technology Officer Scott Dyer reveals the IT behind the building. We looked for a real convergent infrastructure on the IT side. We operate a number of different services out of the building. In addition to corporate IT, we also have active radio broadcast for three radio stations and we have 24 specialty channels that originate from this building. We looked at an IT infrastructure that would allow us to support all of that, but also be efficient and be cost effective from a green standpoint. One of the great things about a new building is that you can start from scratch and you can build things the way you think they should be built. We envisioned a large data center that was completely converged, that we had the radio technology, the broadcast technology, and the IT technology all available in the same place. A single computer room that would use a single network point, so a single unified network, and a large storage pool, in our case larger than two petabytes, to be shared amongst all activities the company is involved in. We had roughly 300 servers that we use on a regular basis, and we virtualized those servers and all the applications they contained and reduced the total number of required computers by 90%. We virtualized the desktop, so we took all of the things that normally would be found on your PC, and we virtualized all of that and put that on a main server. And we did that because we have a large number of meeting rooms, we have a, a very collaborative staff, and we wanted people to be able to access their files and access their desktop wherever they were. The space itself is designed for collaboration, so we don't just have a few meeting rooms. We have 155 meeting rooms. We're also using SharePoint and OpenText's uh, ECM suite. So with SharePoint, we're creating collaboration via an internal website that conveys chorus values, can get, conveys chorus information, and can be used to share documents. Through ECM, we're storing large amounts of our important corporate data and making it available to a wide variety of people. And most importantly, we're making it searchable and storable. The documents flow directly into our approach to digital asset management for our broadcast and content businesses. So every piece of video, both that which we've created, that which we've leased, or that which we've shot in one of our studios is available at the desktop. So the IT department's really been broken into two pieces. One piece is an infrastructure department and the infrastructure department worries about the operation of the server room, the delivery of power, the operation and provisioning of servers. Within the infrastructure department, we've also merged all the broadcast. There's also an application delivery group that actually delivers the working applications and deals with the business users. This has been Kathleen Lau for Computer World Canada.